Hi viewers! In this tutorial, we will help you understand and demonstrate how to create returns. Let's have a look on all the points that we need to create the returns. Before we get into the details on how to create the returns in SAP, let's understand what our returns in SAP means in the next slide. In SAP, the business process returns refer to the procedure followed to handle product returns within a company's operations. It involves managing the return of goods from customers, processing those returns, and handling the associated financial transactions. In other words, a sales return, also known as a goods return, is a procedure where the buyer sends the items back to the seller, who then creates a returns billing document to reimburse the consumer for the value of the goods. SAP provides specific functionalities and modules to support the end-to-end -end process of returns management. To process a returns of goods in SAP, there are several steps. Let's get into the flow steps of returns in the next slides. SAP flow steps are 1. Create return order with reference to sales order. 2. Create return delivery with the reference to return order. 3. Remove credit block from return order. 4. Create credit for returns with reference to return delivery. Let's get into each of the mentioned flow step in brief in the next slides. To create return order, enter transaction code VA01 in command field. Enter order type as RE returns and sales area data in organizational data block. To create return order with reference, go to more sales document, create with reference. Once you have added the entry on initial screen, hit enter, and it shall take you to the next page, which will cover the next slide. In the screen shown here, enter sales order number for which you want to create return and click on copy or item selection button. Once you have created the copy, you will be taken to the overview page of return order creation, which we will cover in the next slide. In this overview page, you would need to enter the customer reference number, the order reasons and the quantity, then click on save. Hope this helped you create return order. Now we will cover the next flow step of returns in SAP. Go to transaction VL01N and on the initial screen of delivery creation, enter shipping point, return order number and delivery type LAR, return delivery. In the next slide, we will check the data and proceed. This is the overview of the return delivery creation where you can check the data, check the return delivery quantity, and save it. Now we'll cover how to remove the credit block from return order. To remove credit block, enter T code VA02 in command field. In the field billing block, change the value to blank and then save the return order. In the next slide, we'll cover the next flow step in return order. To create credit for returns, Enter the T code VF01 in command field, then on the next screen enter delivery number. Once you have provided the delivery number, hit enter, it shall take you to the overview page. On this screen shown here, you can check the billing data. To look into the item data, double click on the line item. In this screen, you can view all the invoice item data details, like pricing details, accounting. Once you check details, you can save your billing document. Now we will check the document flow. Go to Transaction VF03 and click on Document Flow button. You will see that, once your billing document is created the order status is changed to completed. Thank you for watching and we hope this demonstration helped you to create returns in SAP.